Do you know, according to one research done by Princeton University, you only retain 20% of the content after 24 hours once you read it. But you can improve your content retention by revising it couple of times. Now you can't take the equal time in revision as you took first time when you read it from the book. To cut down the time in revision, best way is to revise it from your notes. That is why making good notes is very important for both future reference and last time revision in any exams. But there are two possibilities. Either you make notes while you attend lectures in class or while doing self-study from books. In this video, we will discuss how to make proper notes from book in self-preparation. You have to prepare two kind of notes. First is detailed notes. These notes are permanent and will last for lifelong. These notes will contain detailed explanations of concept, definition, derivation, statements, etc. Use these notes in your detailed revision schedule. First is you should thoroughly understand the concept then write down that concept in your language. Same you can also do for any definitions and statements or laws. Second is derivations. Don't write every derivation you come across in the notes. Pick very conceptually important derivation. Understand yourself first and then try to do it by your own. Write any assumptions you have made in between the steps. And for rest, write only formulas. Try to use the blank space in margin for writing very important points or formulas to remember. Next point is questions. Don't solve every questions in the notes. Write questions which has really significant concept utilization. Avoid questions which are direct numerical type and solve only one type of questions in any concept. For example, avoid questions like this which are direct formula based but have detailed explanation of questions like this which are conceptually very challenging. One suggestion is try to use different notebooks for each subject. It really helps in segregating the knowledge base in future. Second part is micro notes. These are like your handbooks. They are temporary only for one exam. Write only important formulas, graphs or chart in these notes. Try to avoid explanation statements or questions. You can explain the concept in any condensed form. Every subject should come only in one or two pages maximum. So in total you will have 10 to 15 pages for complete syllabus. Use these notes in last days for revision. Once your first revision is done, study daily these notes to memorize all the formulas. It will get over in two to three hours. These micro notes are really handy in revising at last moments. Although this video is very short, hope this video was helpful. Help us by sharing this video with your friends and family. Comment below what is your thought on importance of notes. If you are new to our channel, you can click here to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you never miss our latest update. Finally, thanks for watching.